Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for joining me, Tommy, at today's live video. Uh, I don't know how long it has been since I've done the live video. I think maybe about six months. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us, for taking your time to come in and to join. Please to share and like this video. Uh, we will keep this video running, even though if you may miss the live video now, you can still watch it at your leisure uh, at YouTube. So please to share and like and to share with your friends okay, who are maybe keen in getting a new birdie color. Uh, we have some exciting news to share with everyone regarding about new colors as well as some new models. Lah. Okay, so please do stay tuned. Do not leave and go jala jala now. Please stay throughout the live video and share with your friends. Okay, so how has everyone been okay after all this while? Well, I have many customers coming at the retail store asking, Hey Tommy, how can I never see you? Ah? You twist you now. Ah? Ah, no la, tien no la, but set instance do ma, all the xiao mei mei, all the xiao tien ro, right? Ah, so that's why. Okay, but today, for me, is uh, doing the live video la. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as you know, um, we have this uh, stabilizing period that is going on, right? Until this coming, I believe it's Sunday. Okay, but uh, looking at the current cases, uh, it has not let up, it is still increasing. Uh, so, I, I don't think at the moment, okay, we will be reopening our retail store for uh, this uh, test strike and bike viewing at the moment. Because that is the number one question that we have been receiving through email, PM, okay, they come to the, to the retail store also, uh, when open, I want to buy your bike, how to do it? Okay, so Tommy is here to share with everyone how we can go about doing it even while the store is not open, okay? So, first thing first, okay, you must remember this uh, very important uh, URL, right? www.monkeyvelo.com, okay, that is the address for our website. So, that would be the place, okay, where you should go to place your order, okay, because I do have many customers, they want to order a bike, but they do not know how to. So, just head on down, www.monkeyvelo.com, and then... Click down there, they will give you an option, okay, on all the various uh, bike model, okay, click on it, and then it will direct you to a page where you can fill in all your details, and then we will actually uh, send you, okay, an uh, invoice for you to make payment. Okay, maybe right now we can show everyone, okay, the link you can see now, uh, down there, uh, down there, sorry, yeah, this is this sentence. Okay, you can see the link there, all right, down there, uh, our website, Mighty Velo, okay, www.mightyvelo.com. Okay, the next, uh, way which you can reach out to us would of course be our email okay there's a team of us that are essentially uh, handling all this uh, we will actually get back to you of course uh, if it's a public holiday it's on a sunday or you email at 10 p.m okay then you must wait for the reply lah, uh, next day okay then but definitely we'll reply you okay so make sure okay if you need to reach out to us please go to our email okay that's the fastest way we'll actually respond back to you you can also reach out to us to, on a few uh, outlet. So there's one, uh, there's a few uh, places you can go to. First one would be of course on Facebook PM. You can reach out to us through there. Another one would be through our Google business. Another one would be from Carousel. Okay, uh, all this you can just PM and then there'll be a team of us who will get back to you ASAP. Okay, we have a new channel, uh, a new avenue, okay, in Telegram. So if you're a Telegram user, Please head on down there, search for Mighty Velo, and then straight away just add us. Okay, uh, just started this Telegram uh, channel, so in it we'll actually uh, post a lot of our uh, stuff there. Okay, so usually we'll post on Telegram first before we actually share on the rest of the media. So if you want first hand news, okay, on what's happening uh, regarding about bikes, regarding about accessories, okay. That would be a great channel for you to actually to tune into. So if let's say you're not there yet, uh, wait no further, straight away, head on down, okay, sign up as a Telegram user, search Mighty Velo and add us, okay, then you'll get the latest update uh, pertaining to let's say our products regarding about the latest accessories that we carry at Mighty Velo. Okay? So right now, okay, I'm gonna share okay regarding about the first important news, okay. I want to share with everyone. Okay, and that would be for the new classic model okay so our new classic model currently right now we have four 
colors that's available okay, for our customers to order. And that would be polished silver, we have mercury copper, mercury blue, as well as mercury grey. Okay? All these colors are still ongoing and while stocks last. I'm saying again, uh, it's while stocks last. Meaning, if let's say all these four colors are sold out, they will no longer be restocked. We will no longer carry these four colors for the new classic. And it's retailing right now at the price of 2099. I say again, uh, these are for the four colors that we carry at the moment. We have stocks. If you order right now, you can collect it within five working days. Okay, this is our, for our ongoing color. The four colors I mentioned again, uh, you see on the screen, mercury gray, mercury copper, mercury blue, as well as mercury gray. Okay, exciting news. We have six new colors coming in December 2022 for the new classic, okay? And they are this new colors here. Huh? So I'm going to share with everyone. We have starry blue. Okay, this one is a metallic sheen, polished color. We have aquamarine. We have pearl mouse gray, uh, graphite black, space black, as well as red and black. And let me say again, this six new colors is for the new classic model uh, I, love, I know a lot of users a lot of uh, customers right uh, they come to the store uh, you are so boring only four colors can you like you know bring in more new color eh? uh, your wishes uh, is now granted now you have new colors you can choose from for the new classic model okay these new colors will only be available at the end of January 2022 and the price will not be the usual 2099 but it will be the new price at 2100 Nine, nine. So if you're looking at a very affordable birdie model but with all the features that you want in the birdie bicycle, the full suspension, the one piece frame, okay, uh, you do look out for the new classic model because it's a great model to own. If let's say you're a bit tight on budget but you just want to have a birdie bicycle you to own and to ride, then this is the model that you should actually consider. So once again, okay, we have all these colors all together, 10 colors, okay, so I say again, at the moment, we do carry the four original colors, which is Mercury Grey, Mercury Copper, Mercury Blue, and Polished Silver at 2099. If you place your order right now and make full payment, you can get these bikes at five working days. But if you're looking at the newer colors, okay, they will come in at the end of end December, sorry, uh, end January 2022, coming in that time period at 2199. And of course, new colors like starry blue, aquamarine, pearl mouse gray, we have graphite black, we have space black, as well as red and black, okay? So that's for the new classic model that will be coming really soon next year, okay? The new colors coming in. Okay, for those of you who have just joined us for the very first time, you might not know what is a birdie bicycle. So let me just do a quick intro on what is a birdie bicycle. Okay, birdie is a German design a bicycle by Ries and Mueller, okay, and it's produced by Pacific Cycle in Taiwan. Okay, this bike has been in production since 1995, okay, and of course, uh, knowing a uh, folding bike strike, you know that in, in, if you are interested in getting a folding bike, okay, there are pretty much uh, many brands actually you can see in the market, and a lot of people, okay, eventually, they will choose to upgrade to a birdie bicycle. So first question, why leh? Why birdie? Okay, first thing, just now I mentioned, it is a full suspension bicycle. So, you have your front uh, absorber as well as a rear shock absorber. So, as a result, when you ride your bike, you find that the ride is not harsh. You can actually go much further and you find that you don't feel that ache, you know, from riding a folding bicycle. Because usually most folding bikes, they do not have any suspension. Or the most, they give you a rear suspension. But for the body cycle, okay, you actually have a front and the back and as a result you find that going further is much more pleasant more enjoyable all right second feature that most people would like to upgrade to a buddy or straight away get a buddy is because of its one piece aluminium frame okay if you look out in the market most folding bikes have a folding joint okay there's a catch and as a result of that catch over time when you ride okay you will gradually loosen and you will encounter squeak a lot of sound 
Okay, you have to go back often to go and tighten to just to get rid of that squeaking sound. Okay, but not so for the body because it's a one-piece frame. So you get a very rigid, very nice, stable ride. Okay, so a lot of riders were actually pretty much surprised when they collect their bike. It actually feels more like a full-size bike. Okay, very nifty. Uh, you can accelerate at a very fast speed also because of its very strong frame. Okay, uh, we also like to say that uh, the frame that we carry at Mighty Velo are the latest G3 frame. Okay, we do not carry the older models like the G2, G1 no more. Okay, so we carry the latest G3 monocoque frame. Of course, we also have the new classic model, uh, which is with their own new classic frame. Lah. Okay, so you can choose. Some people prefer a more vintage look, they will go for the new classic, or they have a certain budget they, they want to keep to, they will go for the new classic. But it still has that suspension system and also that one piece frame. Okay, so if you're looking out to get a bike right now, uh, or maybe let's say you already own an uh, entry level bike, you want to upgrade to a better riding experience, then look no further. Okay, do try out the buddy bike. Okay, uh, many riders have tried and they have not gone back. Lah. So I say again, ah, uh, welcome to the dark side. <laughs> okay, so please do place your order. As you know, okay, orders we have very limited shipment each time. So if you'd like to place an order right now, please go to the three avenue, sorry, two avenue that I mentioned. First thing, okay, please go to our website www.mightyvelo.com. Once you go there, click on to order form. And from there, you can actually click on the various model that you wish to order. And straight away, we'll actually reply you with a email on payment. So payment, okay, uh, if you choose to pay uh, by, let's say, pay now or by bank transfer, we'll actually do that through email. We'll send it to you. And all you need to do is just to make a payment, do a screen grab of that transfer and send it back to us. Okay, that's by pay now or bank transfer. Okay, another, uh, you can actually also pay cash or so. Okay, cash, uh, you can actually go to our retail store to pay, to actually to pay up like, through cash. Okay, but of course you like to do at the convenience of your house. Okay, then that would be through pay now or bank transfer. All right, uh, if you like to pay by credit card, we have many questions regarding about that, about credit card payment. They want to do installment scheme. So how do we have that? So we do have this scheme, a three month installment scheme by Atome, A-T-O-M-E. So they split up that payment into three months and then once you pay your first month, you can actually collect your bike. So that will be done through our website, w, sorry. Okay, the website will be www.shop.mightyvelo.com. The last one, the online store. Okay, so down there, go to shop.mightyvelo.com. When you check out, you'll be given a choice. If you want to do a three-month Atome installment scheme, you can do that. Okay, and payment will be either by your debit or credit card. Because I know users, some users, they like to accumulate points. To when you do your purchase. Lah. So we do have some avenues lah, for you to make your payment. Alright, so those are three ways that you can place an order with us. Alright, so right now I'm going to show everyone okay, on how, what, what the new classic, new classic model looks like. Lah. So hang on. Okay, this is the folded version of the Buddy new classic model. Uh, it meets the requirement for you to bring up the MRT. You can bring up the bus, no issue. Okay, generally the model weighs about about 11 to 12 kg. So like for this, the new classic, it's about 11 kg. All right, this is an aluminum frame. Okay, good thing about aluminum, they're light, they don't rust. Right, crazy weather these days, right? Rain, they're very hot at night. Okay, so good thing about this aluminum frame, it will not rust and it's light. Okay, it meets the requirement for LTA for bringing up the MRT or even up the bus. So if you need to commute or let's say you like to take public uh, bus or train to go to certain places in Singapore, then you open up your bike and then you cycle. So very convenient for a folding bicycle. Or let's say you have a space restraint at home. Your wife don't allow you to buy a full-size bike. What's the best alternative? Get a folding bicycle lah. Okay, because they tuck it neatly in your shelf, you can buy an IKEA, Shelf lah, go and customize, go and ah, uh, then you chuck in your bike there, and then you won't get any, any body's way ma. So this is a very good uh, way lah to buy lah. Let's say your wife don't allow you to get a full size bike, then get a folding bike lah. Okay, it's convenient, and it doesn't get uh, much smaller than this lah. All right, so I'm going to show how easy it is to unfold a body bicycle. Many people think that it's very difficult, but actually it's one of the easiest to fold and or to unfold. Okay, so a few steps you need to set up the handlebar. 
Okay, raise up your seat post. Okay, set up your rear wheel. And then just unfold your front wheel. So how long does that take? Less than 10 seconds. You can actually do that. Okay, so we've practiced. The more you practice your unfolding, the folding, you will find that it's really easy to actually to open or to unfold your folding bicycle. All right, so uh, for new users, don't give up. Okay, I have a comments from new users. They tell me, what for me? Uh, I, I, I turn here, turn there, turn here, turn there. Uh, cannot do it. So you do so easy. Uh, practice la, okay, Tommy, practice many times, okay? So you can do it too, don't worry. All you need to do is just look at our past videos, go to YouTube, okay? We did many videos on that, how to fold, unfold, and how to actually go about unfolding your bike, okay? So once you have that practice, you can actually do it really easily. So this is our new classic. This is an eight-speed model, our most affordable body uh, model uh, among the models that we carry, okay? Uh, it features, of course, the classic vintage frame as well as front and back suspension okay so it gives you a really nice comfortable ride so if you're looking at something entry level uh, to upgrade from you do not want to spend beyond 2000 plus then do take note of this model called the buddy new classic okay right now we have four colors this is one of them called polished silver we have mercury blue mercury gray and mercury copper and all these colors will be phased out so is while socks last. So once they are sold out, right, we are no longer bringing back this four color. So if you want something a bit different, uh, then you might want to consider this, uh, this four colors lah, before they are sold out. All right, so um, what's so interesting about the new classic model also is that, okay, it doesn't use uh, this brake. So some user, they were a bit concerned. They say, hey, Tommy, I like a uh, braking system to be as easy, as fast free as possible. Then which one is it uh, easier, which one, which model you recommend? Then I should say go for the new classic because they use caliper braking. Okay, I have a question from uh, Vincent, Mr. Vincent Ko. Okay, they say here, why the price for online purchase is different from purchase price from Facebook? Okay, let me explain. Uh, if you purchase the bike from our online store, which is shop.mightyvelo.com, okay, the price would be what, about $100 more because they factor in credit card charge. So if you're okay to pay with pay now or bank transfer, then okay, please, you can directly write to us, okay? And just say that, go to my, uh, hello at mightyvelo.com, just tell us, I want to order this model, this color. We can straight away just get back to you with an with a invoice for you to pay by pay now or bank transfer. So I say again now, because we also have this question many times from many users. They say, how come the prices are a bit different like your online store and then your Facebook price you quote differently. So it's not differently. It's because some people, they like to pay by credit card. But credit card, we do have uh, credit card charge la, involved. So that's why it's about $100 more. So if you want to pay by credit card, then please go to shop.mightyvelo.com. If you do not wish to pay by credit card, you're okay to pay with cash, pay now, bank transfer. Okay, then wait no longer. Just email us, hello at mightyvelo.com or you can go to mightyvelo.com there and then you click under bike order form and then straight away we will send you the invoice payment will be strictly by pay now or by bank transfer or by cash so these three avenues you can decide okay i have a question from uh, mr wm tan tommy what upgrade can i do for my new classic wow upgrade question again okay the nice part about of course uh having a bike right is the next part is to ride it and then of course the next one is to what upgrade can i do Okay, upgrades are a bit subjective lah. Okay, I would suggest right now, if you have just gotten your new bike, please do ride it out first. Know the performance of your stock components, everything first. And then, once you try that out, then you think that you want to upgrade or make certain improvement, okay, we will definitely can uh, advise you lah, not to worry lah, where to spend your money. <laughs> okay, so don't worry. Okay, so right now, okay, if you have just gotten your new bike, uh, don't think so much about upgrading first. Tommy's advice to you is to write it out, check it out, see what you need, see what you don't need, uh, then you narrow down. Then you spend the amount of money that you think you should spend. Uh. Otherwise, you anyhow upgrade, uh, you also don't know how money you spend. So don't uh, save money, okay? Alright, so any more questions, please do ask. Uh, you think of this as a live video. No, it's live video, ma, so you think of it that you're just in front of me. La. You just, any question, just throw out. I will try my best to answer, okay? So please do, any questions for me, please do ask me. Don't have, ah? Uh? 
Okay, so right now I'm going to show everyone, okay, uh, how easy it is also to fold lah, your birdie bicycle. Okay, I must uh, say this on behalf of my mechanic, ah, because we have a lot of new customers, they come back, ah, they don't know how to fold the bike as a result, then the cable ah, wrap around the stem. Ah. So, okay, you must learn how to fold and fold. So when you collect your bike, okay, at the service center, you spend some time, okay, to actually to figure out how to fold and fold. Because if you do it wrongly, what likely happens, right, is that this cable wraps around your stem. And as a result, okay, it actually affects your braking, okay, everything lah. Then you get sound and everything. Okay, so that's the one of the things that you need to take note. As a new user, right, uh, be a bit more patient, spend some time folding, unfolding. Learn, learn to care for your bike. Okay, the thing is, uh, the bike is a uh, machine ah. Machine got moving parts one. So got sound one. Okay, I got many customers. Why got this kind of sound one? Why got this kind of sound one? Of course lah, machine wa, this moving part, sure got sound wa. No sound wire here plug. <laughs> okay, joke to the side lah. Okay, you just need to understand your bike lah, basically, okay. So any question, okay, please do tell us through our Facebook, you can PM us on email lah, okay. So anything we can share, we of course share with our customers. Okay, uh, we have a question from Priscilla. Okay, hi Priscilla, thanks for joining us. How is the Buddy City different from Classic? Okay, very good question. Okay, so the number one just now was, I mentioned about braking, right? Braking system. Okay, new Classic system, actually this model uses caliper braking. Meaning the old-fashioned kind, like the brake pad kind, the cap-cap one. Okay, so some people like it because very fast-free. No need to maintain. So once it's worn out, right, you just change the brake pad only. That's all, very easy. Okay, so that is the really cool thing about the new classic. Very easy to maintain your brick, your big packs, I should say. Okay, uh, Mr. Pang KSA, can pay a deposit and then on collection day pay full or not? Sorry, yeah, because we have very, very limited quantity coming. Okay, so as a result, we, are, we don't take a deposit. So we take a full payment. So once uh, you have decided, okay, you confirm, chop, chop, okay, I want buddy, new classic, pay full amount, then we can reserve the unit for you. Okay, so I say again now, we don't take the deposit, we do take the full payment. Okay, Mr. Ng Shiming, uh, after folding the bike, does the front suspension drag on the floor when rolling? Okay, you must understand, uh, the body is not designed to be a, ro a rolling bike. I say again, uh, the body is designed, it's not designed to be a rolling bike. It's meant to be a performance folding bicycle. So you must not get this, this wrong perception. All bike folding bicycle must roll, uh, no! This is a performance folding bicycle. It's not meant to roll. That's a bit ugly lah, rolling. Rolling is convenient lah. But this is designed to be performance. Sat sat one. Fierce. Not go market roll kind. No, no, no. So must have that wrong perception, okay? Don't think that rolling might be must, must roll. Okay, this is a performance bike. So when you fold it, right, the design is totally different from the other folding bike lah. Okay, that one is meant for rolling lah. If you like rolling so much, then get that bike. Okay, but this is meant for performance. More for comfort. So if you are going for that, then go for this brand. If you go for rolling one, then go for that brand. Of course, there's third party roller wheel you can install lah. But that's not the main function of this bike. It's meant to be performance. It's meant to be comfortable. So I hope that, that answers your question, okay? Yeah, so I'm gonna show everyone how easy it is to fold your birdie bicycle. Very easy, okay? First thing, of course, uh, a lot of customers ask me, must you change the gear? The gear must go up and down lah. Okay, the thing is you need to change your this gear right to the heaviest gear, meaning you must shift all the way down to the smallest sprocket. Okay, so you do that by shifting your second shifter there, press and gauge, turn your crank, your chain will drop to the smallest sprocket. Once you have done that, okay, make sure your right pedal is on top here, aligned with your elastoma, then you can fold your front wheel. There are many ways to actually do go about doing your folding. So I'm doing on this way. Lah. So you do whichever that is more convenient for you. Okay, so fold. Okay, so check again, your pedal position is correct. After that, you can fold your rear wheel. Tuck in, okay. After that, lower your seat post. And then of course, the last step is to get your handlebar done. Ta-da! So within less than 10 seconds, it is done. Okay, so very easy. So a lot of people are a bit intimidated when they see a birdie. Very difficult, very difficult. No, it's actually very simple. All you need to do is to, to make sure how to go and follow the steps, practice a lot. 
Okay, so no issue with that. All right, so this is the new classic. So if you're looking at an affordable entry level bug, uh, birdie, then this is the model that I would actually uh, advise uh, and recommend our customers to get. All right, so let's not keep you waiting. I'm going to show you the next model. Okay, this is the buddy new, sorry, this is the buddy city nine speed. Okay, so this is the next step up from the buddy range. So if you're looking, not looking at the new classic model, uh, you want to have a G3 monocoque frame, something that is sporty, then of course that would have to be the buddy nine speed city model. Okay, if you're looking at upgrade, okay, for user, uh, you think you want to upgrade Next time when you buy the bike, lah, you want to turn the wheel set, turn the parts, turn the component, then this model would be the best uh, for you to actually to get. Because ultimately, you're going to remove all these components. So you want to get, the, of course, the cheapest uh, G3 model. Okay? So I have uh, Mr. Gary Tan say, what's the purpose of the wheel stopper? Uh, wheel stopper, what's a wheel stopper? <laughs> okay, I must know what's a wheel stopper first. Okay, I think you're referring to the little stud here, is it? Okay, that one is for you to grip your this thing lah. There's one, there's only one only. Okay, the top here, there's one little stud there. It's so that when you fold your tire, right, this stopper will grip the tire and prevent it from dropping out. Hope that answers the question lah. So only got one side only. Some people think, hey, got two sides, how can one drop out already? Wrong ah. Oh, wrong, only one side only. Not two sides ah. One side only. Okay, so this is the very city uh, model. Uh, really good riding. This comes a nice speed Sora Shimano. Uh, more than enough for you to do your commuting, your leisure run around the city. You want to do round island, also can, okay? Because it comes with front and back suspension and a really sturdy frame, okay? So it all depends on usage. Lah. So usually it depends on what kind of riding you do, uh, then we'll recommend based on that. So. Uh, city model, just now I mentioned, okay, if you're looking to do upgrades further down, then this is the model you should choose. Or let's say you do primarily just commuting, relaxed leisure riding, you know, mainly park connector, road, cycling path. Uh, the Buddy City actually does it really well. Okay, so this comes in 18-inch uh, wheel set. And of course, it comes in this uh, CST Kevlar tires which are great for pavement. Um, the bump, of course, this uh, GT monocoque frame actually features, of course, the suspension, the front, and of course, your back. Uh, Suspension-wise, also can be changed according to rider's weight. Lah. So if you're a bit heavy, right, then we do have different uh, suspension that you can actually change to, to accommodate your weight. So if you're a bit lightweight, you change a different color. Uh, elastomer lah. The bit heavy side, then go on the grey side lah, which is meant for heavy people. All right. So the suspension system actually, uh, you can, there's a certain party suspension system that you can upgrade to. So many things you can do lah. All right. So uh, price, how much is the city? So city right now retails at two six nine nine. I say again the price, retailing at two six nine nine. Okay. Uh, I have a question from Suntiam. Thank you for joining us, Suntiam. What's the best method to keep Buddy laying down in the car boot? Thank you. Okay, because that is also a very popular question that we have with many customers. Okay, since we're on this topic, right, let me just also go through with our customers, okay, on how to actually to tighten the seatbelts. Because I got many people coming back to me, uh, telling me, hey, my seatbelts keep dropping. Hey, my, my handlebars very loose, lad. never drop. Ah, very loose. Okay, the reason is because you never tighten your clamp. Okay, I need some zoom zoom in here. Sorry, yeah. Uh. Okay, can someone zoom in this part here? For me. Point this part here. Hang on, ah. Uh. We'll zoom. We'll try to zoom in, ah. Uh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on here. You see this round down? Can see now. Okay, this round down, ah, uh, very easy. This is where the place where you adjust your tightness. So all you need to do is you open your clamp, loosen it. Okay, there's a plus sign there, you turn the sign lah, until it's tight lah, turn to the plus sign. Okay, once it's tight, 
clamped back. So that is the place for you to adjust the tightness. So there are two positions. One clamp here, the other one here. Come. DJ, please show. So there are two positions. Huh? So you must always open first. Open the clamp already. Use your finger, tighten. Must remember to lock. Lock. Okay, our customers are uh, open, happy, happy, adjust, never lock. As a result, this thing drop out. And that's, you have to replace that, okay? And that costs you $35. So remember, always when you do adjustment, tighten already, must lock. So there are two positions, one here, one at the seat pole. So I hope that is very clear regarding about how to tighten your seat poles. If it's sliding down, or you find your handlebar loose or shaking, please go and check these two things. Thank you, JJ. All right. So, okay, so there are two ways. Huh? So now I'm going to show everyone. Okay, just now I was talking about the Stila, about the price, right? Okay, let's go back to the price first. Okay, so City now is retailing at $2699. Uh, ETA coming, the, uh, the earliest one huh? is ETA and January 2022. Okay, right now I'm going to show everyone and show everyone what are the existing colors that we have at Mighty Velo. So right now, okay. Uh, that would be lime green. This is for standard colors. Huh? Second color, red, black. Third color, sky blue. And the last standard color that we carry, aqua marine. So these four standard colors will be available for you to order. There's no additional charge. Okay, You can order and they will come in. And January 2022. Next thing, exciting news, okay? We are gonna have some new colors coming in, okay? Premium colors coming in. So now I'm gonna show, okay? Uh, okay, the next range, right? Just now I just mentioned about the four standard color. So now if you look to your right, okay? Uh, the additional $100 one. So we have graphite black. Okay, second one, pearl mouse gray. Wow, this one has been out of stock for the longest time. So a lot of people viewing this color. Okay, another color called metallic gold. Sexy. Okay, this one, like Lusa Pao. <laughs> Very nice color, okay? So, all these three colors, okay, are available at an additional $100. Okay? And of course, we have the premium color, which is at an additional $200. We have four new colors, okay? And they are black, polished, silver. Second, we have red and polished silver. Third, we have Space Black. And last but not least, we have Lava Brown, okay? All these colors are premium, and you need to pay an additional $200. So let me say again, okay, exciting. There are many new colors coming in. So what's new? We have, again, let me run through again. Okay, for additional $100, we have Metallic Gold. That's a new color, you can see down there new, right? Uh, okay, that's a Metallic Gold. And then, of course, we have Black silver black polished silver we have red and polished silver we have space black and then of course we have lava brown at additional 200 dollars okay all these colors will only be available uh, for pre-order and january 2022 okay next important question you will sure ask tommy man. tommy then what about the old colors what happened <laughs> correct or not okay all those colors are uh, will be phased out. I say again, uh, some colors are phased out, so I need to run through with you some of the colors that will not be in production anymore. Okay, so these are the colors that will be phased out. So let me run through. Uh. Okay, so we have. Wait, uh, wait, uh, let me, okay, there's some question I need to. Okay, they say this is from Mr. Andy Chen. Thank you for watching, Andy. Okay, that's an important folding tip. Think that I think all new body owners should be taught. Thank you. When folding the front wheel, the handlebar must be tilted to the left and the front wheel flip upward. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. So if you have anything, okay, any insight you'd like to share with new body owners, please do now take this opportunity to just shout it out. Okay. We are all here to learn from each other. So, all right. So uh, then question from Andy also, he says, there's been some confusion over this. I recall I was told by Andy staff is handlebar up. Can we... Verify. Okay, when you fold, right, uh, you need to make sure if it's leaning on the vehicle, right, your handlebar should be actually facing upward. So I'm going to show you later lah, when I fold up this fact. 
Okay, so I'm going to show everyone how to fold this back. Same thing also. So keep your fixed stand. Make sure your gear is all the way down to the smallest pocket. Pedal position on top. All right. Then we fold the front wheel. Okay. Make sure your start is gripping your tire so it won't drop out. Okay. Lower it down gently. Check again the orientation of the pedal. If it's lower, then just raise it up again. Okay. Once it's done. Okay. This part here also I must share with everyone now because a lot of people break the fish lever. This is the fish lever. People talk about fish. This is the fish. Uh, this zoom in. JJ, sorry uh, to trouble you. Okay, JJ will come in to do a close up. Okay, this is called a fish lever. I don't know what they call fish. Uh. Why not chicken lever? Okay, never mind. Okay, this is called fish lever. Uh. So when you want to open or release your rear wheel, uh, there's one thing you need to take note. Okay, all user, uh, please make sure both tires are on the floor. Don't carry this. Don't carry your bike and then you pull apart. What happens? This thing will snap. Okay, so you make sure tires are on the floor. Thumb, pull it aside. Like what I'm doing right now. Then you lift up. Then you just, just lift up your saddle. Uh, then you fold. Okay? Because that will prevent your liver from taking a lot of stress. So don't, never, 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 uh, Carry the bike, then you pull open the lever because it will drop and then you will crack. So I hope that is a useful tip. Okay? So thanks, VJ. Uh, after that, okay, okay, of course, you will need to lower down your handlebar and then, of course, your seat post. So at this point, okay, uh, Sukhya asking where should it be leaning? So lean this side. Lean this side. Alright? Handlebar face up. Okay? I hope that is useful for all new. Uh, buddy owners, okay, especially all the tips I'm sharing so far, you need to actually to know them because if you don't, you might end up damaging your new buddy bicycle. So make sure when you are at the collection point, please spend a few time, some time there to just to go through all this with my colleague. All right, very important. So if you're not too sure, don't worry. Go through this live video again, okay, at the end of it, you can always take your time, go through what Tommy is sharing and then try to memorize. Okay, Priscilla say, can you show how to fold the buddy city? Okay, folding is the same actually, regardless of which model. So of course I can show, no problem. So later when I have the other model, okay, I'll show again how to go about doing it. Okay? So this is the buddy city model, going at 2699. Uh. So if you're getting, let's say you're interested to get a buddy G3 monocock frame, uh, something sporty looking, okay? A bit of an all-rounder also, mainly you ride park connector, city riding, you go all the way Changi kind, city does great. Okay, so it's going at 2699, please place your order, shop.mightyvalor.com or www.mightyvalor.com or you can drop us an email as well. Alright, so going at 2699. I'm going to show you the next model. Uh, this is our G, okay. Priscilla, okay, Priscilla asks, can it stand on its own after fold? Compact enough to put it in the car, saloon boot? Okay, uh, sure, let me answer that later when I show you how to fold and fold everything. Alright, so this is the GT model uh, going at 3199, okay? GT. Uh, GT stands for what? I think it's Grand Tourer. I think so lah, okay. This is the GT. Uh, it's going at 3199. So, who should get the GT? Okay, this is a very uh, interesting question. Because usually, okay, I would advise uh, customers uh, depending on what you use it for. So, if you do go for the occasional ride to Coney Island, or you like to do a bit of green corridor exploration, or you like to go to those a uh, bit dirt trail kind, want to explore, uh, Mani Madian, then you should get this model. Because this model is kitted with the blackjack tires, which is meant for those kind of terrain. If you try to use uh, like a new classic or a city model on this kind of terrain, most likely you will get actually punctured tires. Okay, because all the gravel, the pebbles, the stones, right, will end up cutting your new tires. So if you like to go to such places, right, to do a little bit of light trail exploration, then you should buy the Buddy G. Okay, because the tires are meant to handle that kind of terrain. Okay, I have a question from Ryan. Uh, why the pre-order for city so long? 
I know, okay. Actually, hours are very near, considered quite short already, no. <laughs> the waiting period is about maybe three months, lah, because you get it somewhere in end January 2022. Most bike shop now, they tell you, ah, please wait one year. <laughs> okay, so three months versus one year, which is shorter. Okay, reason also because right now, because of the pandemic, right, this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, supply chain is affected, stock is affected, shipping is affected. So as a result, everyone has to wait for your bike. We wish that we could bring in the bike earlier so that everyone can enjoy, but somehow we cannot control all this uh, situation, uh, all these factors. So please be patient, okay? So you'll definitely get your bike once you place your order and make full payment. Okay, Mr. Tan again, Mr. Tan WB. He, are your alternative tires for city in stock already? Okay, I get this every day. <laughs> Where is your tire coming? Okay, sorry, sir. We don't have our stock shipment coming in yet because that's or just mentioned regarding about the supply chain, okay? So many bike components right now, right, are affected. So cannot, even though we want to order, uh, the shipment come uh, many a uh, few months later. So it doesn't mean I order now, uh, next month they send. No. It could be I order now, uh, maybe half a year later they come. So please be patient with us, especially about tires. Okay, we try our very best. So if you're looking to do tire upgrade, I'm sorry, we are not able to offer that right now. But as soon as we have tires coming in, we will actually update through our social media. So for those of our customers who are very keen in doing all this tire upgrade, please stay tuned to our channel. We will update as soon as possible. So if you want the latest news, join us at Telegram, because that's where we put the latest news. <laughs> Okay, so follow us on Telegram. Okay, search Mighty Velo. Join, join. Okay, right now. So back to the. Sorry, I have another question from Mr. Douglas Hu. Thanks for joining us. My body has some space between the rear suspension and the frame. Is it adjustable? Perhaps a fish lever. Okay, let me tell you, uh, all the viewers out there, there's a little bit of play here. You see here, uh, some people think that there's no play. Okay, but there's a little bit of play, right? So down here, there'll be a little bit of play. So that is perfectly normal, okay? Because I get this question every day. They say, how come here, huh? a little bit of movement there? Right? Normal or not? Normal. Okay, so don't worry, it's normal. It's a wear and tear thing. So when you, when, when you get heavy, right? This thing will slowly cushion. Nah. Then when you think it goes down quite a bit, right? You can actually change it. Go for a change then, okay? So it's a wear and tear thing and it's normal. All right, uh, Mr. David Chan, thanks for joining us. I've already placed an order for GT for sky blue color. Can I change the color? <laughs> Big sun. Okay, can. Can. Okay, please write, send us an email, okay? For those of you who want to change color, want to upgrade one, can. Can, okay? All you need to do, drop us an email. And then mention uh, me, okay? And those of us are doing the email, we'll reply back to you. Okay, can ah, uh, uh, Mr. Ong, okay, ask again, when is city available? It's available end January 2022. Okay, most, well, actually all our bikes right now, right, the ETA is at end January 2022. The only exception is the new classic, the four old colors, which are Holly Silver, Mercury Grey, Mercury Copper, Mercury Blue. You can get it in about five working days once you place your order. All right, so I'm going to show everyone how easy it is to fold your buddy bicycle. Easy! Okay, so simple steps. First thing, make sure your gearing is all the way down to the smallest pocket. How to do that? Press the second trigger behind, okay? Turn your crank. Make sure it goes all the way down to the smallest pocket. Once that is done, okay, you are ready to go to the next step. And that is to make sure your pedal position. Make sure your pedal position in line with your last owner. Alright, next one, fold your front wheel. Okay, lower down gently. Always make sure your right wheel, right, your front wheel is pointing to the right. If it's pointing to the left, uh, Salah, do again. Otherwise, your folding will be affected. Your pedal position is very important because it will determine whether you scratch your bike or not. I say again, uh, your pedal position, uh, your right pedal position is very important where you place them. Because once you fall, if it's in the wrong position, Likelihood of scratching your bike is very high. So make sure it's in the correct position, okay? Somewhere aligned with your elastoma. So straight away, fold your rear wheel. Remember I was telling you, both tires on the floor, then you release the rear lever. Fold, okay? So fold ready, okay, then you tuck in. Okay, see this one? Why it dropped out is because never grip properly. This one, so must push in. Push in, then you'll grip. 
Okay? Tuck in your bike. After that, lower your sit bones. Then the last step, keep your off in the bar. So, okay, regarding about packing your bike, let's say in a car, the best way, okay, Tommy recommend is to stand it this way, upright. Use a bungee cord, okay? Strap around the car, so around the car, around the bike, okay? Strap it around the bike so it doesn't topple. So that's the best way. Okay, if you really need to lean it on one of the sides, okay, please do it on the right side, meaning this way. Okay, and the bar always face up. Always face up, huh? Regarding about rolling, okay, I have customers that tell me when they roll their bike, uh, the rotor blade uh, cut into their grip. Uh. Okay, how does that happen? Okay, it's based upon the position of your and the bar. Okay, so if you want to prevent it from happening, right, before you roll, uh, you must check, make sure your this grip here, the tip, uh, is not resting on the rotor. Uh. Right, if you're resting on the rotor, you rub, of course you will cut. Uh. No one's this is common sense. So before you roll, you must check. Okay, not touching. Okay, then I can roll. Then you roll. If it's touching, then you don't roll. Uh. So you must check. Must check, check, check. This is a bike. This is a machine. Okay, so you must make sure all these are done before you roll. Then you won't damage your grip. Okay? And because this is a mechanical disc brake, okay, the most common question. Tommy, uh, how come the bike was sound? Uh? Must maintain lah. <laughs> okay, so to maintain your disc brake, right, make sure you use alcohol wipe. Easiest, just after your ride, just clean it dry. Your front and brake roto this. Don't use WD-40 and spray ah. I say again ah. Don't use WD-40 and spray your roto, your roto blade. Don't do that. Okay, it's because it will damage your, your brake pad. Okay, so please remember, if you want to avoid having all this squealing sound when you engage your disc brake, you need to have regular maintenance. So I would recommend, after your ride, okay, do a quick one, get an alcohol wipe, clean it down, keep it dry, that's all. Alright, any question, please let us know. Okay, I have a question from Mr. Sumandi Ho. Can we change the tire size from 18 to 20? Does it affect the fall? Okay, changing tires and sizes, let me say, uh, 18 wheel size can change to 18 tire size. 18 wheel size cannot change to 20 wheel size, la, the tire. La. So it must be the correct size, corresponding size. So cannot 18 change to 20. You must have a, eight, you must have a 20 inch wheel set, then you can change to a 20 inch tire. I hope that is clear to you. Okay? Alright, so again, uh, 18 inch can change to 18 inch. Cannot 18 inch change to 20, provided you need to upgrade your wheel set to a 20 first. Then you can put a 20 inch tire lah. So, hope that answers the question. Okay, Ling Fong, thank you for joining us. How much is the city? Okay, city just now I mentioned is 2699 for the standard color. So if you prefer premium color, then you add on. No? So we have new colors coming. So please do look through our live video again. Decide, go to shop.mightyvalor.com or www.mightyvalor.com to place your order. Okay, uh, Hanshan, what if I've already ordered and my new classic is ready for collection but I've not collected yet, still possible to top up and change new color? Okay, once we have set up your bike and we've already issued you the email, sorry then, cannot change anymore. That means your bike already assembled already. Okay, so if your bike not assembled yet, still got chance you can change. But once it's assembled and we've already sent you the email already, ready to collect, well, then, then cannot tell me now, I don't want now. Okay, so please, uh, yeah. Uh, any other questions? <laughs> Thank you, Tommy is the best, I know. <laughs> Max Slum, you ah. Uh. <laughs> My cousin. Okay. Thank you, ah. Uh. So that's uh, the GT for you. So if you're looking at sort of like an all-rounder, okay, then definitely you need the GT lah. Okay, if you are a bit undecided, don't know what to buy la, then you uh, yeah, don't know don't don't know got budget, no budget lah. If you have no budget, then just buy this. Because this one is meant to be a very chill ride, uh, very good all-rounder. Okay? I must say again, this is not, not meant to be a fast ride lah. If you are those kind who want to chong your roadie, keep up with them drafting lah, then please don't buy GT. I will introduce you the next model. This bike is meant for chill riding. Uh, go in makan man. Makan, drink beer kind. Oh, shock them the best. Okay? Go makan, bye. This is very good, very nice cushion, okay, with the tyres. 
So if you are looking for something really relaxed, very nice cushion tires, okay, then GT. Uh, Tommy recommended. Okay, so GT is now going at 3199 for the standard colors. Uh, if you want premium colors, that will be extra. Okay, moving on to the next model. <clears throat> okay, so this is the R20. So if you're looking at a fast bike, your criteria, fast, chase the roadie, then this is the model. Okay, Mr. Ong Eng Hyok, besides the new colors coming, will there be more colors coming? Wow, this one already new already. I don't know what's the newest one, maybe two years later, maybe one year later. <laughs> okay, so don't have yet. So these are the latest from the factory at the moment. So any other new colors will of course update through our live video. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sun Tiam asks, is there any intention or plan of selling the Jusof Joseph Kusak, you will set separately. Uh, that one I will let my boss answer. Lah. So you are going to wait for the reply, okay? And you reply through the comment below. Alright? Uh, okay, so I'm going to show everyone the R20 because everyone is so excited. Oh, the fast. Okay, I must say, yeah, the R20 currently is the fastest model among all the models in the body range. Okay, it comes with a 20 inch wheel set. Okay, with uh, really nice slick rolling tires, uh, and of course a uh, Hubsmith wheel set, very light aluminium wheel set, and of course it comes with Shimano 105 uh, ready. Uh, Terry C, thanks for joining us. May I ask, why not body bike don't have the warranty sticker on the frame? Huh? Thanks. Uh, what warranty sticker do you mean? Got <laughs> warranty sticker, man? Okay. Uh, all along, okay. I, I think maybe it's the Reese and Mueller sticker you are referring to, is it? Okay, that one has long been phased out, okay, by the factory already. So they don't no longer have this Ries and Mueller sticker anymore. So all the latest 2021 model, uh, will don't have sticker. Uh. Then you know this is, wow, this is the latest. So you got a sticker, the Ries and Mueller means that one very old bike already. Okay, I hope that's clear. Alright, so factory has no longer, okay, put the Ries and Mueller sticker anymore. So they have phased that out already. Alright, but anyway, sticker is, well, uh, the one any Evo carousel, you just order lah. Uh. You want Hello Kitty, you want what all also have. So you just custom it, alright? So I'm going to show you the R20, how easy it is to unfold it and how beautiful it looks. Alright, so very simple, unfolding. Okay, this bike has been fitted with a 10 wall uh, tire, so the original tire actually doesn't come with this 10 wall color, it will be just black color. Alright, so this is the R20. Uh, targeted mainly for riders who like to go fast and furious, uh, like to chase road bike, okay? Minimal effort when you're riding the bike, this model is it. Okay, this is the model that you should go for. Okay, uh, this is the lightest too, uh, somewhere about 10.2 kg, okay? Uh, comes with Shimano 105 rear D, uh, I was just not saying also, 20 inch uh, Hubsmith wheel set, okay? And, uh, the chaining size is all standard at uh, 50 teeth, okay? Uh, sorry, 52 teeth, sorry, 52 teeth, okay? So it gives you a really, really good ratio if you really want to sprint. So if you are looking at a bike uh, that requires minimal effort, but you want to go fast, you want to look good, you want to expand the least effort, but can go very fast and far, then this is the bike for you, okay? This is the R20 retailing at 40 Nine, nine. Okay, 4099 is the standard color, I say again. Huh? So if you go for premium color, okay, there will be additional either $100 or $200. Okay, so this is the R20. Uh, really, this is meant for fast rider. Lah. Of course, it doesn't mean, uh, I know fast rider, then I cannot buy. Uh. Can, if you want to look good, lah. look good, then look like you, what, then sasa, then no need to use a lot of effort. Then R20 is the one. Okay, cost it really. Minimal effort you spin, uh, oh, how come so far? You are left behind really. <laughs> okay, it's that fast. So, and relatively light also at 10.2. Okay, so uh, if you're looking for a fast bike, okay, uh, that's your criteria. Look no further, go for the R20. So it's going at 4099 for a standard color. Okay, Nelson, thank you for joining us. Any plan for installment for this bike? Okay, I mentioned earlier regarding about the Atome, A-T-O-M-E. 
uh, we have this Atome three month installment plan available at our online store shop.mightyvelo.com. Okay, I say again, uh, uh, for customers who would like to do a three months Atome installment scheme, we have it on our online store shop.mightyvelo.com. Okay, please bear in mind that if you purchase from our online store, prices will be slightly a bit higher a bit because of credit card charges. I'm going to say again, uh, otherwise I got email again. How come your online store is more expensive than the price you quote on Facebook? Okay, the price I quote on Facebook is meant for pay now or bank transfer. So if you'd like to pay by bank, this uh, pay now or bank transfer, please go to www.mightyvelo.com. Go to selection of bike, click order. Then payment is strictly by pay now, bank transfer or cash. Okay, so different ah, uh, pay now all this different ah. Uh, then so if you like to pay by credit card, go to shop.mightyvelo.com. All right, hope that's clear. Okay, Sean Pang, thank you for joining us. Can I top up for 105 components for purchase of city? Okay, thank you so much for this question because we also get a lot of that too. At the moment, we do not do customization of parts at our store, uh, so we don't have that service. Okay, at, we don't provide the service at this time now. So maybe next time, we might in future, okay? So uh, Mr. Derek Lowe said, can R20 roll properly? Tommy, show roll and fall of birdie again, thank you. <laughs> wow, you are never, then you play back the video later lah, let you see. Okay, never mind, I will show you, okay, how to go about doing it, even R20, okay? Because some people think that R20 yeah, cannot fall, cannot roll so nice. But actually, it's the same, you can roll. Okay, just that when you fold it right, the gap might not be as compact as the other 18 inch model. Alright, so uh, R20, let me say again, price range, okay, for the R20 is 4099. Uh, we're flashing up the colors again for you. So if you're looking at a fast and furious bike, want to go fast, want to catch up with your roadie friend, you do not want to be left behind, you need to get, of course, the bike that is suited to do that task. And that would be the R20. Okay? So, Thomas, uh, thank you for joining us for live video. Hi, would like to know the difference between Shimano 105 and Altigra. Okay, Altigra is a higher grade component kit compared to Shimano. Lah. So, it's just more expensive, that's all. Uh, one step up, again, I think one step up. Okay, so that's all the difference today. Alright, I'm going to show everyone how to fold and fold. Ah. So, please. Yep. So, for folding, always make sure, okay, just now I was mentioning, okay. Ah, okay, like that. Okay, so, okay, the frame must be correct. Okay, so for folding, right, always make sure your gearing is in the correct position. So, press your second shifter, okay, drop your chain, spin your crank, okay, until your chain is all the way to the smallest pocket. Number one. Number two, pedal position. Right pedal must be in line with your elastomer. Step two, huh? Step three, okay, what to do? We fold your front wheel. Okay, check again, make sure your pedal is in line with the last tomer. Sometimes you will go down a little bit, just adjust it. Because if it's in the wrong position, likelihood of scratching the bike, frame very high. So once you've done all this, okay, next step, we can fold your rear wheel. So remember, I was telling you about the pitch lever. Make sure two wheels are on the floor, push aside with your thumb, then you lift up. Then you fold. Okay, tuck in, front wheel. So now two more steps, sit pose down. I must say again, uh, sit pose, uh, try to flush it all the way down. You see this space here, right? Don't leave a gap like that. Because if you don't flush it all the way down, it might not be as stable as now. Because that actually provides a point of contact on the ground to make it more stable. Because I know some customers, they hang their saddle back and everything, their lights and everything, then they slide like that. Okay, so as a result, it might not be as stable. So if you want it to be really stable, uh, flush it all the way down. Then you lock. Okay, just remember. After that, last step, of course, is to just to release your handlebar, gently lower down. So just bang lah, you bang lah, then you scratch. So be gentle with your machine lah, this is your bike man. So masayang, sayang, sayang. So when you fold, unfold, also take sayang, sayang. Okay, then we will give you your best performance. Okay, so make sure you take care of your bike, even while folding or unfolding it. Thanks Nelson, you're asking, R20 can upgrade wheel set? Okay, R20 can upgrade wheelset, of course. Uh, later I'm going to show you. Uh, okay, you can. 
Okay, because ultimately now we currently have this uh, SMC tri-spoke carbon wheel set upgrade. Uh, 18 inch is 2170, 20 inch is 2192. So if you're interested, please visit www.mightyvelo.com, look under wheel set upgrade. Okay, so or you can actually drop us an email, hello at mightyvelo.com, and we can get back to you on the prices, the specs, and if you want to order, the invoice. All right, Mr. Ong Eng Kyo, R20 folded size versus 18 inch model. How much bigger in folded size? Not much. Ah. Not much. It's just the wheel, you notice it's a little bit taller, that's about it. So you still can bring up MRT, bring up the bus, just a little bit. It's just that you notice here, ah, open up a little bit more. Ah. Okay, as compared to the 18 inch model. So not much. All right, so this is the R20. Going for 4099, please place, place your order. Okay, because we have very limited shipment each time. So before it runs out, um, make sure fast finger, place your order. All right, Mr. David Chan, thanks for joining us. When is the store open for bike trial? Maybe still got time to change bike model. Okay, just now I mentioned earlier during the live video because of the cases right now, uh, the COVID-19 situation is still evolving. The cases are not, it's still like that. <laughs> okay, so uh, until the case stabilizes lah, and when the situation improves, when the thing is big, then you will consider to do the reopening, to do either test strike or bike viewing. So please uh, stay tuned to our social media, especially Telegram. I remember, uh, go to Telegram. Uh, please search Mighty Velo. Please join as a user, okay, at us. And then you get the latest update regarding about uh, your test strike or your bike viewing. Okay, hope that. Hello, Tommy. Can the R20 tires change to GT tire for light trail? Thanks. This is from Mr. Heng Han Xiang. Uh, R20 tires, right? Okay, this is a very popular question regarding about R20. R20 cannot change to other tires, one. It's a bit selfish, uh. <laughs> Okay, because the tires are, uh, you notice, right? The, the rim is really almost uh, touching the frame already. So it can only accommodate its original slick tire. Okay, so cannot change to like GT tire, Billy Bonker, the kind. Cannot, cannot. Okay, so cannot. So R20, okay, you are stuck with the stock tires. So that's why I say this bike, okay, this model, primarily for speed, for chong car, I want to go drafting behind the roadie one, then this is the model you should get. Okay, but if you want to go like more trials, those uh, like Billy Bonker, GT or Big Apple kind, yeah, please go for the 18 inch model, that would be the GT, the City, the Touring Plus. Those models you can change highest. Okay, hope that answers the question. Uh, Mr. C. Hyokun, I thought Altigra is also from Shimano. Yes, the components are basically from two suppliers. Uh, SRAM and Shimano. So for the R20, it's from Shimano. Even Altigra is Shimano Altigra. Okay? Uh, Joel Chien Chia Hao. Will the R20 be more difficult to roll when folded as compared to R18H? Okay, let me, let me roll this for you. Jalan, jalan. Jalan, jalan again. Pretty easy lah, no, no difference. Okay, so hope that answers the question. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Le Ong, is City also aluminium? Let me clarify, all the frames are uh, for body, they are all aluminium. Okay, last time there was one very limited edition lah, uh, titanium, maybe they got 50 units only. No more already, that one's a limited edition run. So once reduced, no more. So last time have lah, uh, now no more. So now all aluminium frame. Okay, Mr. Le? Okay, this bike, uh, uh, some owners will recognize straight away like, Wow, that one, JK11! Okay, yes, it's the JK11, okay? Let me open up this bike and show everyone. Firstly, let me clarify something. Okay, let me clarify something. Uh. The space, this buddy space black JK11, JK refers to Joseph Kusek. Okay? It's not a limited edition model. I say again, ah, this is not a limited edition model. Okay? The reason why we actually uh, start selling this model is because we have many inquiries from customers. 
they actually wanted their body bike to be done at certain brands, like Joseph Tussac in this case. So that's why we decided to actually to, to actually to come up with this model. Okay? So thank you. Okay, if you're watching for our live video, okay, if you are very first time watching, thank you so much for supporting. Okay, I'm Tommy, your host for this live video. Please do help to share okay, this live video to your friends. To even to body owners or you are just happen to be a new body owner uh, I'm sure some of the tips I, I do give out is useful for you please to share them with your friends okay and of course uh, right now also I'm sharing some new updates on regarding about colors regarding about models lah. okay uh, we have a new social media Avenue uh, telegram okay where we actually feature some of our latest uh, accessories or maybe some news regarding about body bugs on it so if you are on telegram please straight away search mighty velo and add us okay uh, so that you get the latest update regarding about all these uh, accessories and buddy okay news okay so i was talking about regarding about this model the space black jk11 i was saying this is not a limited edition model okay this actually is uh okay it features actually the same g3 frame Okay, this is a space black frame and with 20 inch carbon Joseph Cusack wheel set. It retails at five nine nine nine, almost six thousand dollars. Okay, right now, okay, I have many, 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 many interests uh, from customers regarding about this model. Okay, but currently because of the shortage of parts, okay, and components, we are not able to assemble them. So estimated only, uh, maybe the next shipment interest leads are coming maybe in January, maybe not. Because it all depends on the component, they might come, they might not come. So the one is something that we cannot uh, control. Okay, so if let's say we manage to have the stocks of all these bike components in, then we can start to offer uh, the JK11 once again to our customers. So for those of you lucky, I think only a few only, uh, those customers that managed to snag a JK11. Wow, you hang, uh, lucky are uh, you. Uh, okay, so you can show off uh, when you go weekend. Uh, wow, sasa. Okay, only a few owners only managed to get this, okay, when we launched the JK11. So for those of you uh, wanting to get this special model, okay, please next time when we launch it, you have to be fast. Actually, within three days, because I was the one doing the invoice, three days, uh, wow, all the model going to sub already, all taken up. So when we launch uh, straight away faster, buy, pay money, guarantee you will get your unit. So don't wait. You delay, you are too, are too, uh, then you have no more. Long. Okay, so you have to be really fast because it's really hot selling. Okay, so estimated somewhere now in end January, not confirm, uh, only estimated. Uh. So if we have, okay, if we have and happen to see launch uh, straight away, you have to be fast to place your order. Okay, it comes in, uh, a lot of people ask me also, so why JK? 11 so expensive. Okay, first thing, uh, it comes in many premium components. First thing, of course, the most distinctive part would be the Joseph Cusack carbon wheel set. Okay, sleek, light, fierce, uh, sexy, uh, light. Okay, next one, of course, it comes with Cambium Brook C17. Okay, some riders swear by Brooks. Uh, so I don't know your that side one or not. Uh, some people they do. Uh, okay, they only touch Brooks only. <laughs> okay, for me, I touch uh, Sally SMP, cheap and good, <laughs> but also very good. Uh, so, if you want to buy a saddle, uh, check out our website. Okay, go for Sally SMP, Tommy recommend. Okay, if you like Brooks, also, also good. Uh, okay, very nice. Okay, so this is the Brooks VC17 Campion. So, this is using a uh, not leather. Okay, I think it's some, uh, some rubber thing. Uh, okay, so very nice, very comfortable. Okay, so Chen we say, what is Joseph Cusack tire? Okay, Joseph Cusack is a brand, okay? So if you check on the website, Joseph Cusack, right? They actually manufactured a lot of wheel set. So this is one of them. Okay, Mr. Tony Chan say, JK11 has stopped. Unfortunately, okay, this shipment has all been sold out. So please wait for the next shipment. Estimated next year and Jan lah. But it all depends on availability of components. So if you have, okay, we'll actually update on our social media. So you have to be fast because usually we only launch not many units because it takes a lot of time to actually to set up and of course to get the components. 
uh, Mr. Joe L, L, Mr. Joe, okay, will R20 come in other colors instead of red black? Okay, can we flash back just now the same slide regarding about R20? Okay, so this slide, okay, you can see, uh, Joe, uh, R20 is retailing at 4099. Estimated ETA now would be end January 2022. Uh, you have so many colors you can choose from, not just red black. So you have lime green, red black, sky blue, aquamarine. Premium colors, graphite black, pearl mouse grey, metallic gold. And of course, the 200 premium colors, black and silver, red and silver, space black, and lava brown. So you have 11 colors, not just one. 11 colors for you to choose from. Okay, so if you're looking at the R20 now, your choices is so much more now, instead of just red black. Uh, Mr. Ida Mohammed, can roll-off model be fitted with Big Apple or Big Bonkers tire? Good question. I will show that model next. Okay? Hang on, ah. Can someone hold on this back for me? Thank you. Okay. Let me drink a sip of water, ah. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, uh, here is the Buddy Roloff 14 seat. Uh, this is our most uh, expensive Buddy model that we have. Uh, it's retailing now at 6199 okay, for a standard color Buddy Roloff. <clears throat> okay, what's so distinctive about the body roll-off, right, is the internal gear hub. So it does not have any cassettes, like Shimano, you know, they have all the different cassettes, the 11 speed and everything. So this one, no cassette, no hanger. So all it has is this, uh, we call it the roll-off internal gear hub. So that's where your gears are all situated inside, inside this hard aluminum shell. So the good thing about this is that it actually uh, do away with a lot of maintenance. So it's not exposed to dust, mud, water. So even if you go through all this terrain, right, you don't have to worry because your gears are all protected inside this aluminum shell. And the great thing about the roll-off internal gear hub, okay, you do a Google on it, search roll-off, okay, under internal gear hub. You will realize that actually a lot of uh, touring cyclists Okay, they swear by this model. Why leh? Because uh, it doesn't uh, encounter any problem. Okay, and in fact, the more you use this eternal gear hub, right, it actually becomes smoother with, uh, as, uh, as you cycle more. So it actually becomes uh, nicer to ride. So this model is great for riders who are Targeting primarily more for like you like to go overseas cycling uh, You do not want to have any like failure on your gears, especially that would be disastrous So you want your bike trip to be Pleasant ongoing right do not want to have any breakdown then this roll-off gear hub would be a Blessing heaven sent because it will do its job Okay, and of course it requires minimum maintenance all you need to do is actually just to have a little bit of oil change after about 5,000 kilometer. Can you imagine 5,000 kilometer? So basically, uh, it's recommended for riders who like to do long distance, I should say, and who don't like to do cleaning. Okay, of course I have riders like that. They say, no, I don't clean. I just want to basically ride and enjoy. Okay, but I must tell our riders out there, because all these are machine, machine are moving parts. So even though you do not want to do a lot of maintenance, you still need to pump your tires. You still need to degrease your drive train. You still need to lubricate your chain. Must one, all these are must. Okay? I have customers tell me, you know, I pay six thousand dollar. How come? How come my tire flat one? Let's see, you go pump not. Ha! Huh? You didn't tell me must pump not. Okay, must. Okay, because all these are machines. All these are parts, moving parts. So even you buy a very expensive bike, uh, you don't maintain and you abuse it, okay? It will still run down because it's a machine. So I hope you understand. Uh, 
although it will help you to minimize the maintenance lah, but it doesn't mean you hands free. You still need to maintain because it's a machine. Okay, so the more you sayang, you share, you show love and concern for your bike, okay, the bike will also respond accordingly lah. You can actually have more pleasant ride with it. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so you can buy any bike, what amount? Okay, if you don't maintain the bike, okay, the bike also cannot serve you well. So you need to actually on your part make sure do your maintenance. So please don't abuse the bike, okay? You clean it up, you you actually provide you with many years of, of pleasure riding. Okay, so you must do your maintenance. Okay, so uh, the good thing also about the roll-off is very easy for you to change your gear because it comes with a reverse shifter. So this reverse shifter, right, you can change it even while it's stationary. Okay, so like now I can change the gear up and down. It doesn't matter because it's an internal gear hub. Okay, so like for example, let's say you are at the bottom of a slope. Then your friend sabo you, ah, stop, 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 stop. Then now you must go up again the slope. Okay, the good thing about this is you can straight away drop to the lightest gear and you can slowly make your way up. Unlike the derailleur system. The derailleur system, you can't do that because once you are engaged on another gear, right, you need to pedal. Then the chain can shift, but not so for the roll-off. So that's one of its strong points. So whichever any terrain, uh, any hill or slope, uh, straight away you can straight away change it to the lightest gear and start pedaling with ease. Okay? So that's the strong point about the roll-off. Really easy for anyone. You don't even have to bother about what? Chain gear, left right, left right, left right, no need lah. What left right, left right? So not only one reward shifter, turn or only. So very uh, it's not easy lah, anyone. New beginner rider also can know how to change gear. Okay? And all you need to do actually for the roll-off is just to maintain your chain. Okay? Same thing lah. Bicycle must maintain it ma. Drive chain, lubricate, clean. Okay, I have a question from Mr. Ida Mohamed. Can the roll-off be fitted with Big Apple tire or Billy Bonkers? Okay. Let me sh share that you can, but I don't recommend because the rim is actually more narrow. Okay? So, I won't recommend. If you want to do those right, please, do it on a GT model. Those will be more appropriate. So if you want uh, like Billy Bonkers, you want Blackjack, do it on a GT model. This is more for touring, more for long distance. Road, uh, cycling path, PC and that kind. Okay, it's meant more for that. Okay, from Mr. Cai Pei Hua. Uh, so this body roll is 6199. Okay, 6199. So that's for a normal standard color. Alright, same thing, ETA would be N January 2022. Okay, so it comes also with, uh, of course, uh, I must share also right now, the factory has stopped production for all the black, sorry, all the red color hub and rim. So if you order a roll off right now, you will no longer be red. It will be black in color. Okay, so uh, hope that's clear. Lah. So same thing, please place your order either through our website, shop.mightyvelo.com. You can go to www.mightyvelo.com to place your order. ETA would be end January 2022. Okay, so the body roll-off going at 6199. Okay, we have one question from Mr. Ryan Cristiano. Can a new classic fit 20 inch with Altigra R8000 group set? Okay. So at the moment, okay, we do not do upgrade for new classic at the moment lah. So I don't think so we can do that at the moment uh, for... I believe you can do that in another bike shop lah. But at the moment, right now, okay, we do not offer this service regarding for customization for the new classic. So Akadatang, stay tuned to our social media. Uh, Mr. Pang KS, is this as fast as R20 and R JK11 assuming rate power the same? Okay, I must say again. R20 and JK11 are the chong, are the powerhouse, can go fast one. So if you are looking for a fast and mean, fast and furious bike, that would be the R20 and JK11 because they are like meant for that purpose. But for the roll-off, okay, this is meant for tourists, for those going slow and steady touring. So it's not meant for speed. So don't get it wrong, huh? this is not for speed. This is for riders who are going slow and steady Enjoy the view, uh, that kind. <laughs> okay, so if you're the kind, okay, you're not going for speed, you're going for comfort, you're going for easy shifting, you're going for minimal maintenance, then the roll off would be ideal for you. Okay, 
So usually when customer come to the shop also, I would ask them lah. You know where do you usually ride your bike? You know where do you usually what kind of riding do you do? Do you do like one group one? You do by yourself? You do leisure kind? Then I will actually recommend accordingly. So don't buy the wrong bike. Buy a bike and a model that actually fits your lifestyle. So if you are doing a certain activity with your friends, make sure you get the right bike. All right, uh, Mr. Andy Chen. If I don't take note of my riding mileage, how will I know when to change oil? Okay, usually what we do is that we have uh, Strava. Okay, I would recommend uh, riders to have this app called Strava because every time you ride, you just click lah. You actually measure your mileage. So if let's say you don't take note, so if you find that when you are shifting right, uh, either where you have some abnormal sound, okay, or very then you might want to bring in to for our mechanics to have a look lah. But by right, you should do five thousand kilometer first before you need to do any servicing. And I'd like to clarify uh, for roll-off, there's a breaking period for the hub. Okay, what do I mean? Okay, it means uh, you need to do at least like, uh, I think almost about 1,000 km. Okay, uh, you'll find that when you engage your gear, right, you'll be a little bit of more resistant. So once you've done 1,000 km, uh, the gear hub will actually, the hub will loosen up a little bit. You'll find it smoother as time goes. So there's a breaking period time. Uh, any sign that I need to change oil sooner than one year? I doubt so. Currently, I don't see any customers that did that at the moment. Lah. So, you should use your bike first. Okay? Alright, so this is the roll-off going at 6199, available in 11 exciting colors. Okay? So, if you're looking at the king of the birdie, something that you do not wish to... You want to enjoy the bike, uh, minimal maintenance, this is the model to get. This bike has been getting a lot of uh, interest uh, because you see it in SG, PC and cyclists. I also see also, hey, so there's a carry-on. And we have actually many uh, customers that actually use this bike, okay, to go on very long distance. I was very surprised, okay. Please, so uh, this is the carry-on, okay, by Pacific Cycle. This is a one-speed tricycle, okay. This is the only uh, folding tricycle uh, that you can bring up the MRT as well as on the bus. And... Uh, one thing that is uh, liked by all customers is because it's so compact, you can fold it up, take a grab, fold it up, take the MRT. So, regardless of whether it's good weather, bad weather, right, you are not stuck. You can actually always get a ride home with the carry-on. So, who is this carry-on for? Okay, you might ask me lah. So, quite a, quite, quite a large draw of people. So, the first one, of course, very obvious is for non riders. I say again, uh, this carry on is for non riders. Okay, so if you have been uh, traumatized, maybe one time, maybe you fell badly lah, when you're trying to ride a bike and then you no longer wish to ride a bike anymore, okay, don't give up hope. There's still hope yet with the carry on. Okay, uh, the good thing about it, it is so stable on this three wheel. So it's recommended for non Riders, so if you have very bad sense of balance, cannot balance one, you know, okay, uh, then this tricycle is for you. Okay, do not get left out, okay, especially when your family members all can ride. Then you're the only one who cannot ride. Okay, that, that feeling is terrible. Lah. So, okay, no more. Just buy the bike, okay, you can cycle along with your family members. Okay, so doesn't mean you're done rider, you cannot ride. You can with the carry on. Okay, carry on retails at one four. 99 I say again okay the price is 1499 and the next estimated shipment coming is in December 2021 it's available in two colors okay in gray slate gray as well as in brown uh, do not be mistaken on the view there like much of is two color uh, it's actually two separate color so there's one full gray and one full brown so it's only available in those two colors at 1499 Okay, uh, we have many customers actually queuing up to get this bike. Uh, we are pretty shocked too. So how come so many people queuing to buy the carry-on? Huh? Then we realize, oh, because a lot, 
we discover la, a lot of people cannot cycle, really a lot cannot cycle. Okay? And so uh, you cannot also say that carry on only for old people, no, cannot la. Because there are so many young people buying the carry on. Okay? So we're pretty shocked. Wow, so many people buying. So adults, teenagers, kids, the active seniors, so many. Okay? So you don't think that oh this one three wheel are only for old people. You are wrong. Okay? Go and look at SG cyclists, PCN cyclists. Okay, you can look through the old photo. Okay? Young people also cycling on the carrier. So nothing to be shameful, nothing to be shy about. Okay? Just ride it. Okay, that's the most important during this time. Okay, you need to exercise. So get a carry on even if you can't cycle. I have a chance. Okay, I have a question from Mr. Tony Chan. Any chance polished silver frame coming in next year? Okay, very good question. Polished silver, okay, okay, there are some colors that will be phased out entirely. Okay, for the body, okay, now it's back to body again. Huh? So for the body G3 frame, some colors are phased out. So let me run through with you those colors. Hang on. Huh? Sorry, I need to take out my specs. Huh? Okay, colors that are discontinued. Moonstone blue. Lime green. Sorry, lime green is still ongoing. Huh? Sorry, huh? Uh, midnight blue. Military green. Sage grey. Desert sand. Polish silver. Mercury blue. Mercury copper. Mercury grey. Champagne gold. And rose gold. So all 12 colours, right, are phased out and will no longer be available for order. So I hope that is very clear. Huh? These colours will no longer be back in production. Uh, you cannot order also. So for those of you who wants to get a polished silver, I do remember, I think I do have about five units of roll-off in polished silver left. Only in roll-off. Ah. So if you are thinking, what oh, roll-off, ah, polished silver, ah, then I only got five left. So quick fingers, please place your order. All right. Okay, Mr. WM Tan say, can I change my city order to a new premium color? My order is blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, just now I mentioned regarding about changing your order. Can, 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 as long the bug is not assembled. If the bug is assembled uh, and we will send you an email say, please come and call it now. If you say, I want to cancel, cannot. Means you cannot change your order already. But if let's say the bug is not built yet, then you still have that chance to change your order. Please email us at hello at mightyvalor.com and then we'll go through with you the process how we're going to refund you the whole amount then you place your new order again okay hope that's clear okay i'm going to show you everyone again okay, how to fold and unfold the carry all how easy it is so the weight of the carry all is roughly about 10.2 kg this is made of aluminium frame doesn't rust okay comes in eight inch wheels okay all these wheels you need to inflate got air one the smart tire one okay so folding very easy Okay, loosen the knot here, slide this backwards. Keep your front wheel. Okay, you can pull your pedal. There's a catch here, press, release. You can keep your saddle. There's a little hook here that will hook onto the front section. Keep your, okay, your seat pose and then lower down your handlebar. And keep your handlebar. So, really easy, folding, unfolding. Nothing complex, anyone can do it, okay? Even a child, a teenager, easy. How to hold it then? How to roll, how to push? Very easy, okay? You can hold this manner. You can pull it behind you. See what I'm doing now? Just pull it behind you, lah. Like go shopping like that, lah. Okay, like a frame like that. So if you want to push in front, oh, so can. Push this way, lah. Like that, what I'm doing now. Okay, it's only about 10.2 kg. So relatively light. Okay, so it's easy for you to carry, put up your car boot, you can bring it up the MRT, okay, travel up the escalator with it. Of course, I would still recommend you take the lift, lah. easier, make your life easier. Okay, folding is also very easy. It's a few simple steps only. So set up the handlebar. Okay. Okay, while I'm at this topic, right, of folding your carry me or unfolding your carry me or carry your. Uh, let me stress, uh, for a new user, uh, this thing. Uh, JJ, can, can, can you zoom in? Let me, it's a good point to share with our user also. Ok, 
Okay, you notice uh, there's a clamp here. This clamp can turn left, can turn right. Uh. Okay, this clamp uh, do not overturn this more than five times. It means don't, don't, turn, don't, don't, don't do this more than five times. If you do, what happens is that this center bar might drop below. The whole thing might be loose. So always make it a point to actually turn one, two, that's it, enough already. Don't overturn more than five times. So for new user who have just bought your carry me or carry all, do not overturn your disc lamp more than five times. Especially if you have kids or your parents who are not too sure they turn, 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 ask them not to do it. Okay, so you just need to turn one, two round, that's it, and then you can just clamp. If it's too tight, you do anti-clockwise, then you clamp. That's all. If it's too tight, again, go anti-clockwise again. You should not, that's all. Okay, so hope that's very clear. Do not overturn. All right. So once you've done that, you can actually set up your seat post. All right, push it down, unfold your pedal. And then, of course, your carry-all is unfolded. So very easy. Not difficult, okay? So folding is really easy on the carry-all. Let's say you see, less than 10 minutes, sorry, less than 10 seconds, it's done already. Okay? So this is good, okay, for non-riders, for kids who cannot cycle, you want to keep an eye on them, not to go too fast. Uh, even for active seniors, okay, who cannot afford to fall down. So you are thinking of getting for your mom, your grandparents, your auntie, uncle, okay, to get a bit of exercise during this COVID-19 period, okay. You don't want to just stay at home lah. So bless them with a carry-all so that they can enjoy health, okay. They can have a good cardio workout at the park. Alright, so... You can also, it's also good for uh, people who are just recovering from a surgery, okay, or let's say people with very bad balancing, okay, you can also get the carry-all actually, okay. Uh, if let's say you have just recovered, okay, you want to build your muscle, you can do that as well. In fact, we have many customers who actually took the carry-all and explored different parts of Singapore, okay. They went to all the different MRT stations, you went to explore all the different park connector. So, nothing is stopping you lah, it's just buy and explore okay and enjoy okay mr su ko hong can the carry on go on round island trip can it be at least catching up with single speed bike let me say again ah uh, this is a single speed eight wheel eight inch wheel it's not meant for fast riding it's meant for casual ride to exercise of course how long the distance you want it depends on the individual of course if you are very strong Lake Power, or oh, Thunder Taiwan, you're going to do Round Island on a carry-all, can lah. But it just means that, okay, you have to change your tires more often now, there'll be more wear and tear, that's all you need. You have to lubricate your chain more often, you need to maintain your parts more often. So the more you use your bike, the more you maintain lah, simple as that. Okay, it doesn't mean you cannot, can. I have customers, they cycle, wow, from MBS, cycle all the way to Changi, Changi, cycle all the way to MBS, and cycle all the way west side, can, can be done. But I must say again ah, carry on cannot cycle on the road oh. I say again no, cannot cycle on the road ah, only on pavement, pavement. Okay, please do not, later got storm, hold them ah, carry on on the road. Cannot ah, it's meant for the pavement. So it can be done. Alright, uh, Mr. Jimmy Fu, is there a difference for the different colour of the black elastoma? Elastoma for the birdie one, the black one is standard, normal. So if you are a bit heavy side, okay, we'll actually mostly change it to the grey colour one, which is slightly harder. So I hope that answers the question. Okay, so any more questions regarding about the carry-on? Okay, so pre-order now open. You can place your order right now for your carry-on, okay? It could be for your parents, your grandparents, your kid, okay? Maybe finishing their exam soon. Okay, cannot write. You want to bless them. At least something for them to go outdoors and exercise. Uh, please bless them with the carry-on at 1499. Make your purchase on our different avenues, okay? www.mightyvelo.com Okay, this will, payment will be by pay now, bank transfer or cash. You can purchase from our online store, shop.mightyvelo.com or, okay, or if you want to straight away just email us, you also can do that and we'll get back with an invoice. So, ETA coming and December 2021, available in two colors, slate grey or kaki brown. So please wait no more. Uh, we have very limited stocks coming, so please do not wait or drag. Uh, if you want to get it, please get it soon because stocks are running out. Okay, you can also make payment at the store because I know of some riders, they feel a bit uncomfortable paying online. 
You can visit us at our online store. Sorry. You can visit us at our retail store at Breton IHQ. Do not come 12 to 1 because we are closed to make payment by cash. We still accept that. Okay? So, let me keep this. Okay, the next uh, bike that I'm going to share and show everyone would be the Buddy. So, Buddy. This is the Iruka C7. Okay, so for the Iruka, this is a Japanese design bike by Mr. Kobayashi, uh, Masaki Kobayashi from Japan. Uh, it's manufactured in Taiwan. All right, this is, uh, it came fast and furious, okay? So, right now, uh, the next shipment coming in, right, would be in end December 2022. It went out of stock for the longest time since last year, when we had like about 10 pieces from the factory. So now it's back in stock, uh, coming shipment, end December 2021. Uh, the new model that we're bringing in, right, is called the Iruka C7. So what's the difference between the C7 and the previous model? So the previous model that we were selling uh, is using the Alfine 8 speed eternal gear hub. So for this coming new shipment, right, it will be a bit different. We'll be using a 7 speed Nexus Shimano hub. So one speed lesser, lah. so it's a 7 speed. And then also the bar, okay, it's a slight riser bar, like an M shape. So it's more comfortable, more upright. So that's the main difference lah, between uh, the C7 and the previous model. So the price for the Iruka C7 is going at 2899. Okay, it's available in a few colors as well. So from there you see we have red, we have blue, we have black, we have uh, silver, and this color called storm, storm gray, I think. Okay, so a few colors available. So it's going at 2899, ETA coming and December. 2021. Okay, the Iruka is a new concept and I believe it's the newest uh, in terms of design for folding bicycle. Uh, most of the folding bikes you see in the market, they either fold in the frame, okay, or yeah, that's, that's the main thing, like, they fold in the frame. But for this, okay, you notice the design is totally different, okay, it's like a jackknife, like those army knife, you know, all the different function, right, you can open, 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 like the Swiss knife. So the design is based primarily on that and you notice that actually the rear wheel right sits in nicely on the frame. There's actually a hollow portion for it to sit nicely. Okay, so I'm going to show everyone how the Ruka looks like when it's unfolded. Okay, so let's give it some time. Okay, thank you for joining us for the live video. Uh. Uh, please, uh, thank you. If let's say you're not able to catch a live video now, don't worry. You can always watch it in a rerun, either on YouTube or you know on Facebook. So please share this live video with your friends, okay? Or if you're a new user, just collected your buddy bike. I'm sure some of the tips I offered uh, during the live video would be very useful for you, and also for our carry me or carry all riders as well. Okay, please to share this video with your friends, uh, especially if you're thinking of getting a good phony bicycle or if you're upgrading from. Uh, a budget uh, folding bicycle, you want to get a better ride, you can seriously consider the Birdie bicycle. Okay, right now I uh, have the Iruka now in, they call it a parking position. So you do not need, need a third party, like a kickstand on the Iruka. Okay, something like the Brompton where it actually sits on its wheel and you do not need a, a kickstand. Okay, uh, just flip and then you're ready to ride. So it comes with a rear suspension like the, okay, there's a rear suspension behind. And what's so unique about it is this frame here. Okay, one piece frame, folding is all done through the joint front, okay, and the back. 
So the frame itself is a one piece, and then it's hollow inside for the rear wheel to actually to fold into and tuck into when it's folded. So a very new concept in folding. Okay, very. So if you want to be someone different, do not want to be alam the same one or the same folding part. Fall in the middle, so boring, right? You want something different, something innovative. Uh, you want to uh, write something that is really different. Okay, then the Iruka C7 is for you. Best, uh, one of the nice features I like about this bike also is it has this internal gear hub, like the roll off. So instead of a 14 speed, okay, the Iruka C7 comes with a Nexus 7 speed hub. So hardly any cleaning also required. Uh, for the C7, okay, it will come in, the means it won't be this uh, bar. Instead of straight, like this one you see, uh, it's a straight bar like that. So for the C7, it will be like a M, slightly riser M bar like that. So it's more, uh, more upright, more comfortable riding position for riders. Okay, that's for the C7. Okay, Mr. Jimmy Fu asked regarding about the red elastomer for the birdie. I believe the last time the red elastomer is also for, uh, uh, can I check boss, is it medium or is it light? Okay, so I'll check with my bosses. Uh, they say that the red elastomer, the color coding is same as the black, which is normal. Lor. So if you have normal weight, okay, then it will be the same. Either red or black, the same. So gray then would be uh, for a bit more of those what you want. Then you, anything above seven, anything above 80 kg, you should be using a gray elastomer. Hi, Rosila. Thank you so much for joining us for live video. Ah. Please share and like. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about the Iruka C7. So please, uh, if you're looking at something innovative, something not very uncommon, very unique bike, lah, I should say, uh, then please go for the Iruka C7. Uh, wonderful features to have, internal gear hub, now we have new bar now, uh, which is like a riser bar, more relaxed, okay, very slick look. Uh, for the new C7 also, okay, the tire will not be this slick uh, tires anymore, it will be uh, 18 times 1.5 pavement tire so it would be more suitable for cycling path park connector because some people they don't like stick tires they find oh very fast lay very scared uh, so more to city riding lah, I should say okay so you can place your order right now okay using the same avenues uh, we have shop.mightyvelo.com we have www.mightyvelo.com or you can just drop us an email at hello at mightyvelo.com to place your order so the Ruka C7 is now going at two eight nine nine okay and it's available in i think five gorgeous color we have red blue black silver and storm gray okay so they sell out really really fast please place your pre-order before they are all gone again and then you have to wait like don't know how many months before the factory produce so if you're looking to get a really innovative and really unique bike uh, folding bike okay then wait no longer the Luka is the one that is now the latest and in my own opinion, a really nice design. Okay, so I hope you enjoy our live video today. Thank you so much for joining okay, me throughout this live video. Please share with your friends if you find the tips are useful. If you have any questions, okay, and I'm not able to answer, so sorry, but do not worry. You can still key in your answer, your questions. Okay, our colleagues will do their best to answer you even when the live video is over. Please share and like, okay. Uh, especially to your friends who are thinking of getting a birdie bicycle, okay, or maybe an upgrade on their existing folding bike, uh, so that you have a better understanding of the birdie bicycle that we carry. Okay, uh, shout out to all the customers, okay, who went to the store and asked me, hey, Tommy, please do your live video again. Okay, thank you, thank you, ah, please like and share, okay. All right, so thank you so much for your support. Uh, we have one last question from Mr. Vincent Cole. Okay, why Touring Plus 24 speed is not being mentioned here? Is this model being phased out soon? No, 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 okay? Touring Plus model is not being phased out, okay? It will still be ongoing. Uh, the, the Touring Plus model will be retailing at 2999 Okay, so I'm showing you the slide right now. Same thing, you can order the 11 colors that's available. So, don't worry, it's just that I never mentioned only today. So if you want the my next slide video, we can do it. <laughs> okay, Vincent, not to worry, it's not being phased out. All right, so I hope that uh, the questions are clear. Okay, if you have any questions or any inquiries, please do drop us an email at hello at mightyvelo.com. So at the moment, uh, bike viewing and test rides are not 
are done at the retail store yet in view of the rising COVID-19 cases lah, and the cases has not dipped yet. So at the moment, I don't think we are doing uh, test ride and bike viewing at the moment. So please do stay tuned to our social media. Uh, we will update as soon as possible when we are ready to resume uh, test ride. But you can still visit us at our retail store to purchase kuti kuti lah. Let's say you want to buy water bottle, you want to buy paddle, you want to buy kickstand, buy bag, buy grip, can. Okay, please knock on the door lah. Okay, every time uh, oh, I, I, I'm sitting behind the computer all like that, no? Oh, just, just knock the door lah, knock the door, hey, can I come in? Just say like that. You like that, like that, I will like that. And all like that, oh, you just knock the door, don't worry. Knock the door, come in, okay? Don't shy, don't shy. Knock the door, say, can I come in, okay? If you're buying stuff, just let us know, and then, of course, you can come in. But payment only will be by cash or by pay now. Okay, so hope to see you at the store really soon. Stay safe, stay healthy during this time. Okay, so please keep healthy. Uh, any question, please drop us an email. Okay, so Tommy signing off. Till the next live video. Bye-bye.